All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Hopefully, you all had a merry Yuletide. Um, so yeah, it's uh, sorry about the audio. I was fiddling with cords in between parts last time, and I accidentally unplugged my microphone cord. And when I plugged it back in, I forgot that I had to change the microphone in my capture software so that it was recording my microphone and not just re-recording the game. That's also why the game audio was really loud, it seemed. Or maybe like a little bit louder um, is because it was technically recording the game audio twice because it was recording it once for the game and then once as the microphone for some reason. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we have our gear that we unlocked. At the end of the last part, we have our Ceremordrin whatever ceremonial because increased attack after a stun finisher and additional increase to stun. I still don't know what increase to stun means. Um, uh, I'm honestly not sure. Um, but I'm happy with the uh, after a stun finisher kill because especially while we're still using... Uh, shield it does go I do get a significant amount of stun kills so uh, that will obviously help out a lot uh, then I also changed out my weapons to wolf weapons I now got the house Carl's axe which increases attack after each hit and the blood wolf shield which is chance to ignite your weapon on parry which I do believe we got the blood wolf one from uh, Soma I want to say uh, and then I had a skill point from somewhere, I'm not quite sure what, so I'm working my way down to Grit, and I'll probably spend a little bit of time over in this section of my skill tree, just to, uh, oh, they removed those, did they? So you can't see what they are anymore? Oh well. Did I not grab one of these? I thought I did, but it's not lit up anymore, so whatever. But whatever. Anyway, um... But yeah, I'll probably spend some time down in this section just to get the uh, wolf gear upgrades. Uh, but I figured this part, we'd spend a little bit of time in Ravensthorpe. We do, because we do have this quest here. Have you seen this man? Petra, Petra's brother Wallace has gone missing. So we'll do that. We will see what other quests that we have available to us outside of these three here. Because these three here are all part of the Yuletide. Uh, because that has 11 days left, but we'll see what other quests will go around. We'll talk to people, uh, and then depending on how much time we have left, uh, we might head in and do a few of the mysteries, or maybe we'll go and fight the Cola, the Zealot, the Zealot there. Um, but the next part, obviously, we'll try and clear up all of the mysteries, and then hopefully for the final part, we can head into East Angalia that right no anglia uh because then we have the legend of beowulf which is a dlc and the berserkers or the mysterious berserker uh which is also a dlc mission but anyway first things first we're going to go talk to petra about her brother um i talked to her in between parts at one point and it uh was really weird because it's like oh my brother's missing and he's like i don't have time maybe later petra, and she's like all right home. it's my brother Wallace was meant to return hours ago, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. He's usually punctual. I'd like to search the woods for him, but alone I fear I would have little luck. Would you join me? Two could cover much more ground. We should go now. Do you know where to start? Near Peterborough. It's where he buys his tanning liquids. I know he sometimes makes camp at a crossroads between here and there. Following in on the road his way back from Metis. Sure. Anyway. Oh my, that's actually quite a distance. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, that's actually in an area that we technically shouldn't even be in, but we'll go. That's not the right button. Mm -hmm. There it is. <laughs> oh nice, so she actually got on. Why can the destination not be reached exactly? I mean, she literally said that he was following the roads and that he took camp at, or in that he camped at a crossroads. 
everything she said meant that there is a road from here to there. I mean, I can't even see different roads connecting on the map. But anyway. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the Yuletide event was pretty fun. I, I don't know, like... <laughs> Uh, I liked how when you did the quest, okay, fuck you, and your destination can't be reached. All right, fuck you, the you game. Steps. Lucky hasn't done anything foolish. Um, but yeah, for the uh, the archery event, it was pretty good. It took me a couple tries. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did, led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another, he was bestowed on us like a... like a babe among the reeds. Anyway. Um, it did take me a minute to get used to it because, like, they gave you the hunting bow, which obviously is the one with, like, the rather large drawback, you know, and then you fire it. Uh, and it took me a couple... It took, well, I guess it took me, like, one try to realize, oh, I don't actually have to draw it all the way back to fire it. And then I did actually manage to get like fourteen hundred, yeah, I think, there. for a score. You may have stayed somewhere nearby. If you did, if you did, he left traces. Um, it, you don't get anything extra. I think once you hit twelve hundred points, it doesn't matter anything up oh, past no, that. It's just gravy. <laughs> oh God. A set of tools. If they belong to Wallace, why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. What leads to below? Oh. I couldn't tell there was actually stairs there for a second. Careful, Petra. Look at his eyes. There's something wrong with this one. Ow, prick. Oh God! I'm sent down here, strange and heady. I don't recognize it. It has a familiar sourness. I can't place it. Not the smell of death. It is almost pleasant. Must be Wallace's clothes. The trousers are wet. Probably pissed himself. Hmm. Okay, so we have a rabid pig. Uh, a good scent, I guess. Someone was wounded. A knife attack, I think. Okay. Hmm. Well, he's stayed here. It seems he made something to eat. Oh my god, Abel! Abel, come this way! What have you found? I saw it, Abel. I saw him nearby. Wallace? The white elk. The white elk that brought me to Wallace years ago. It was there. I saw it there. Are you certain? As sure as I see you now. He's back. A guardian is back, leading us to my brother. Is it your guardian or is it your brother's guardian? Because it seems to always be leading to him. Now, is there going to be somebody else in this house besides Wallace? Petra, where are you? Um... <laughs> Right? Oh. Okay. Petra! Hello! Mimi, guide me. Have I lost her too? Okay. So, whatever that smell was down there. In my eyes, Sudan. Obviously, really fucked me up. Petra, oh, wait a minute. Show yourself. I see the white elk. It's getting dark. So she's this way. Uh, the elk. You will know where she has gone. <clears throat> Ask the elk about Petra? Alright, sure. Hey, buddy. I am, I'm sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the white elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. It, it may be you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. You live a comforting life. 
Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic. I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. Uh, we are looking for her brother, Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? <laughs> Is Petra near? Uh, I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. Wha what is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Take your evil back to Sutunga's Hall! Oh, well, this might not be good if these guys are leveled what for the area and not for the Petra? quest. Okay, well, they don't Fight seem to be leveled for the area. Because they should be a lot harder than this if they were. What have you done to Petra? Answer me! Go. Stop. There. I'm here. I will make them talk, Petra. I must know the truth. I must know where you are. Um. I am right. There was no need to question this carrion further. Uh, uh, yes. Sorry. Now come. I believe I know where we'll find Wallace. Oh. Up there. His trail leads this way. Petra. I met your old friend, the White Elk. But he vanished before my eyes, before I found you. You were visited! For a time, we talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Oh, look there! Oh, and what this now? This is strange, Seda Vitra. Where are you? <laughs> Over here! Evil, come on! I'm up here! What the Petra. hell is up with this quest? How are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? I'll show you. Am I actually gonna, like, how unlock a skill that, here, or...? Yes, just try it! Move! Run in a straight line! Oh no, my. No, 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 no. Too far. Too far. <laughs> Amazing. You did it, just like your Sunin. And not a scratch on you. Now let's go. Wallace should be over there. Are you sure Wallace is here? I, I see no one. I believe so. We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Really? Of course. The rabbits. Man, how high are you guys? Like, Jesus Christ. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no. The wolf spirits have wakened. Why'd you have to say it? I hope I'm not intruding, but have you seen my brother Wallace? Damn! This one doesn't speak rabbit! Petra, hurry! Okay, well, let's do this, because this should... Really? You only gave... Oh, I see. I can only hurt. Oh, what? Bullshit. Has it? Could it fucking help out with the wolves here? Oh, hello. I see him. I do. Come on, Eivor. Chase the elk. Good God. I feel like this may have been funny, but, like, it's a joke that's went on too long now, you know? That we're high as fuck. Chasing white elk. Like. Like, I really do feel like it's went on a little Please too long now. Not now. Ah, not until we have Wallace. No, no, don't go. Wait, wait. We're home. Full circle with nothing to show for it. Uh, so, what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone-brained stoat, we've been looking for you! And here I am, 
Freshly rested and ready to work. Your day is late. I was carrying quite a burden coming home. It slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> mushrooms. So the elf. Just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They're often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be bussing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could. But I will have to ask the rabbits for permission. <laughs> I do like how they gave you, like, quests for your settlement. Like, that is very nice. That you actually get to interact with some of your people. To be fair, so far she's really the only one that we've got to interact with. But I'm pretty sure that I have more quests that I can do there. I have four skill points. Did I level up twice during that quest? Jesus. Okay, let's see. What are my... Yeah, Stealth Recon I don't care about. Right, I was already heading towards a thing. So I'll just... Doing that. Unlock this one. Yeah, that one I don't care. Uh, yeah, okay, so that we can unlock that there. And then since I have one skill point, I will go over here to get Way of the Wolf so that I have it. Alright. Eivor, stand up. But yeah, it's always nice when the settlements in games aren't half assed. And they actually like let you do stuff. I mean, okay, this must be uh, what's her faces? Yeah, the Sears. Hi, but I don't think that we're a high enough level for that yet. Or maybe we are. Actually, I don't know. I know it gave us a warning that it's like, hey, this is like a level. Uh, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure that it gave us, like, hey, this is a level something quest. You don't want to do this. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, but I don't remember if it was when I drank it or not. Anyway, since that we've built them, uh, we'll head over to the cow farm, which is just over here, the cattle farm, and talk to them to see what's up. Uh, now, whether or not we'll be able to, I don't know, obviously, because, like, they did have, like, the whole Yuletide thing. Uh, Win Winfrith Bertham has been coming around to see my maid. Uh, twice now I've caught them sneaking out together and they may have been kissing. I am sure this concerns you as much as it does me. I suggest telling your son to find other pursuits. What is happening between them is very worrying, Bronson. Really? But I thought Bertham was in love with uh, with Petra. Was it not Petra that he was talking about during the, uh, the quest? Uh... Hello, Bertie B. Sweet as honey. You're so shy that I barely realized how much fun you can be. It's truly a joy to see this side of you, and I suppose it goes to show that you never really know a person until you spent a little bit of time with them and in their arms. See you again soon, I hope. Well, now, uh, I hope her dad doesn't find this letter. Yeah, they're not even here, which is unfortunate, but I'm assuming that's because of the Yuletide event. It really sucks that I had to build those during Yuletide because I feel like it probably <laughs> fucked it up a little bit. Um, okay. So now I do believe... Oh, look at this. This is a spot that I apparently have not decorated yet. Um... Let's get some, why not? Let's put some garland up here. Okay. Is that one we can't really do anything with. We don't have anything to upgrade any of our gear. We'll check to see 
the Yom's Viking that they've given us Need this something? time. Um, not bad, fairly basic, but eh. Okay, so now I do believe that we have enough materials to build one more place. Uh, inventory. Yeah, we have 55, and I think that is enough to build one of our level what 2 things, see? which might actually upgrade our... <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm sneezy as fuck today. It should be enough to upgrade our settlement again. What is this? Ah, yes, the tattoo shop. That's the one that I wanted, actually. Um... Because, yeah, the brewery was the other thing. And now that he's back, actually, in between the next couple parts, what I might do is actually do his hunting. Hey, or do, here. like, the hunting things. Like, I'll go and I'll hunt everything that uh, is needed for those, uh, I don't know, I guess, quests. But I'm not sure. Good day. Okay. I so. must take my leave. So long. <laughs> so long. Okay. Yes, I can. Cool. So there you go. Now we can see all those tattoos and shit that I got. Because I did get, I have gotten quite a few tattoos and hairdos and everything since the last time we've had them available. And Ravensthorpe has upgraded. Yet again, we are now a burrow. Look at that. Level 4. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it hasn't unlocked new... Oh, it did, though. Grain farm, another cattle from Kari's house, made his house. Does that mean we can get... Does that mean we can build a second cattle farm? Made his house. Improves the feast... Yeah, so I can upgrade the cattle farm. Maybe to actually have some cows. Kari... Kari's wood shop. Oh, what is this one? The cartographer we still haven't bought. Maida's house. A cozy place for Maida. Ooh. Form that grows and harvests is so many great. Alright. You know, I really would like to know what this feast buff is and how to activate it, but. I would like to see what you have in stock. Alright, so now let's see what we got. Uh we've got some new face tattoos. Go around the sides. Oof. Uh, oh, that's on the neck. Oh my. I don't like it when it goes across the person's mouth. I just feel like that would be really weird. Uh, that also just makes it look like he has a target on his head. Oh my. I think that's more... Yeah, that's the Christmas one. <laughs> Vestry wind. Oh, that's not bad. I do actually kind of like this one. I like the Midgard one. Although I did like this one because it goes across his eyes. But, you know, I'll go with the Midgard one. Uh, what do we got? We got the axes. Norse emblem. That one. That just looks like a mess. This one, not only does it look like a mess, I'd probably hurt like a motherfucker to get tattooed because it's like so much so close together, right? Gungnir Strike, Valhalla Blessing. Oh, I like that one. And then that's the Christmas one again. I really wish he would stop fucking turning, though. Let's go with that one, actually. Could give myself a white arm. Uh, ooh, I like that. Sleeve. Uh, ooh, that one's pretty good. Uh, ooh, I actually do kind of like that. Yeah, that one looks weird. Go near strike. That's like the whole raven thing again. Uh, you know what? Let's go with this one there, and then we'll go with the raven one on this side, and I'll just get those so that they're gone. Okay, well, dude, if it's on your back, stop fucking turning around. I actually do like that on his back. That looks really weird. Uh, go with this one. I like that one. Good Christ game. Alright. 
so we don't got any new beard styles. We do got some new hair, though. Okay. See, now, I like the, where it, like, still shows off his tattoo on the side. Uh, what do we got here? So, you know what? He's been here for a while. Let's, uh... Let's give him some hair this time. There we go. All right, if you're done. There you I'm go. Off. Brand new well, Ivor. See you later, Avor. Avor, right? Brand new Avor. All right. Okay, so we built that. We built the brewery. So we'll go to the brewery and see if there's anything there. Uh. Wallace is back, but we've already talked to him. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess they're really besides the brewery, brew, yeah, words, right? Um, actually, come to think of it, where is Children that? Lies ahead. Uh, no, that's the store. Ah, there it is. We passed it. Because now, because see, like when we did this, right? Especially this one really annoys me. Ah, you probably, maybe, no, can't talk to you, that's a shame. Because, like, we built the brewery, and, like, the guy was like, oh, man, she left her apprentice in charge, yada, 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 but, like, we never actually got to meet the person who actually runs the brewery, so, I mean, that's a shame. All right, so I guess that's it. I guess there really wasn't that much in Ravensthorpe, but, hey, we upgraded it, so yay. Uh, so now to head back and do some of these quests, we still got quite a bit of time so we should be able to with this part and next part knock out all of these quests so I actually want to start with this one and then go up or well maybe we'll hunt down the, you know what I'll unmark that and we'll fast travel here and we'll see where that zealot is because if we can go and take the zealot out first and then start at the top that would be good and we'll see how our new gear does with it oh It's weird to have him actually have hair now. He hasn't had it for so long because, like, I completely planned on, like, changing his looks every now and then. It just took us so long to be able... Like, we just had so many other things that I wanted to build before the tattoo shop. And then, like, when we finally got to the point where I was going to build the tattoo shop, they're like, oh, by the way, if you want to do this event... Wow, all right, I abhor Jesus Christ. They're like, oh, by the way, if you actually want to do this event, you can't unless you build these two things. Or you can't do it all unless you, you build these two things. And it's like, all right, pricks. Hopefully that gave me something. Okay, and the Zealot is still up there, so we'll go and take out Cola first. No, don't meditate, son of a bitch. Not the first time I've done that, by the way. Well, hello. Apparently I was meditating super peacefully. Alright, horse. Um, do you act, does our horse actually have an income to think of it? I uh, honestly don't remember if it does or not. Uh, I don't think it does. If it does, Ivor never says anything about it. But yeah, we'll go, we'll take out the Zealot, and then we can start at, like, the top corner of this region, which makes it getting to everything, or doing everything in, like, a loop a lot easier. Uh, I don't think any of the locations are gonna be a fight, or at least not, like, specifically a fight, like a legendary animal or something. Um, I don't remember coming across anything that was like that anyway. Now... My only worry... Oh, shut up. My only real worry is where this person... Is where Cola might be. Because she's hanging out up there. And if she goes over to the fort... That might be bad. As long as we get her out in the field... Like, out on the road... We should be good. It's just getting her, like, close to other enemies might be... I say her. I don't know if it's a her. The two in the first region were a her. In Grant Bridge. But I guess the one we fought here, or the one I fought here, was a dude, so. Okay, now I think right here. 
Yeah, I don't know why you want to go left. I definitely want to go this way to catch her. You know, really weird. I've been getting an urge to play Zelda. I guess it's not really that weird. I've been watching um, Matt and Michael at Achievement Hunter stream like the Zelda randomizer, and it's made me want to play Zelda, like Ocarina of Time. It hasn't made me want to play the randomizer, which is weird. Oh. You would think watching them play the randomizer, it's like, oh, I want to play that. And it's like, oh, so you want to play a randomizer? It's like, fuck no. Because, like, uh, something like that, I just feel like I would get screwed horribly. Yeah. Like, my randomizer would just be, like, the worst thing ever. Huh? Wow, can I really just, like... <laughs> okay, what, what's my dodge? That's my dodge. Okay. Dude, your weak point show. God damn it, I'm hitting the wrong button. Right? No, I am hitting it. Yeah. Okay. I'm also not keeping my fucking lock on for some reason. Alright. That's it. No more arrows. Prick. Come on, Coley. You can do better than that. Yeah, that's right. I countered every fucking one of those hits, you little bitch. Okay, I may have fucked that one up. Ow. There it is. No, I don't know what you're about to do, but you don't get to do it. Good Christ, dude. Take a fucking breath. To be fair, with all those counters, because I got the ability where countering does damage, so I mean... <laughs> he was literally killing himself. This is a mere moment. No one will remember it. No one. Not your name, nor mine. It all ends up the same. Regret torments you. My only regret is losing to whatever you are. You reek of fading glory. Alright. So that's another zealot done, which is unlocked a uh, clue for the ads. Uh, found in the Roman ruins within let le whatever that place. Okay. Defeat the drinking champion found in the Roman ruins within. Wait, is that where we are? We're not in that place, are we? That is where we are. Okay, so there's a guy that we need to defeat in a drinking contest, eh? Well, I mean, there's a guy here. I mean, I haven't been doing the drinking contest because, like, I fucking don't really care for them. Now, is he the only... Oh, there's one here, maybe. Instead, that would make... Because that's the fortress, so that wouldn't make much sense. Uh... Well, you know what? We'll just leave that marker there, and then as we go down, we'll uh, we'll do it. But first, we'll go and do this here. Uh, that guy wasn't bad. I mean, obviously, the way I was doing it was rather uh, clumsy, to say the least, and reckless. But, I mean, he actually wasn't that bad. Mainly because, you know, I was actually the correct level for him. And, of course, destination cannot be reached. I really wish that they had it where, like... If the destination cannot be reached, like most games will have, like that have something like that, will make it where it's like if you can't reach it, it will take you to the road 
or the point in the road that is closest to that location, you know? I'm trying to think of what game it is. Because I know that I played a game where you had a horse that could follow the road, and that's exactly what happened. What? Did I just... Oh, I think I ran over a fox. Um, and that's exactly what happened, where, like, if you couldn't directly get to a location, it would just take you to the closest point. Because I remember a couple of the points being, you know, not really, not actually close, you know? They just kicked a squirrel as well. All right. Let's see what's up here. What do I have to do? Have I lost my touch? Am I cursed? I, I just can't get it right. Stupid. You're stupid. Or fool. That's what it is. You think you know what you're doing, but you don't. Sauce results. Bullhead too sweet. Brown. Okay, so he's trying to make a... Okay. Too fishy. Yeah. Oh, smells good. Oh, please. I'm irritated enough already. The last thing I need is someone lying to my face. It is a compliment, Saxon. Take it. What are you brewing, anyway? I call it Leicestershire sauce. That is a mouthful. What is wrong with it? It doesn't come close to meriting such a sizable name. That's what's wrong with it. And I've tried. Lord, have I tried. But I cannot, for the life of me, strike the perfect balance. I should just give up. As I look around, that is hard to argue. You wouldn't happen to be carrying a meal, would you? Not the first thing I grabbed when I set off for the day, no. I've fished everything in Leicester, but the eel. And you think this elusive river snake could be the answer to your sauce wolves? There's only one way to know for sure. All right. If I wrangle one, I shall bring it to you. Yes, please. I must try, if only to rule it out. Thank you. Okay, so then for this guy, I need an eel. And since I don't know where to get them, just give me a moment to see. Because that, honestly, I don't even know if I'll be able to... Uh, what the hell was that? No. Uh, let's see. AC Valhalla eel location. Alright, let's see here. Oh, fuck off with your cookies. Um, yeah, yeah, good Christ, I really wish websites would just get to the point. Uh, da -da 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 -da. good. Here we go. Towards the river. Okay. Well, that sounds easy enough. Uh, okay, well, it says to turn away from them, which I guess I did. I just need to go this way, then. And find... There we go. So, apparently, there should be some here. So, now you can see my absolute horrendous... Or how fucking horrible it is... To, uh, wrangle fish with a bow. Mainly because of this right here, right? Like... As you can see, there's a lot of them. And they're all marked. Can I not? Like. Or, and they all light up. But they also all almost immediately go away. So these are the eels. Hey, look at that. I got one. Now, hopefully, I do only, in fact, need one. That's a regular eel, so that's good. Hopefully there's nothing, like, no specific kind of eel I need. I imagine fishing is easier. I don't know. All right. I have your eel. Oh, good. Please, add it to the pot. Okay. Ah, here it is. Would you be so kind? You want me to taste this? Of course, for your palate is far less tainted than mine. Take a generous amount, too. Verdict? Oh, no, not quite there. Oh, Lord. 
If it helps, I've had worse. I suppose that's it then. It's over. Time for me to pack up my things and see what the fruits of another kingdom might offer me. Where will you go? Worcester, I think. Though I'll be buggered if I'm going to name my sauce after that poultry place. <sighs> Thank you for all your help. I don't know many Danes, and I don't care to, but you've helped bring closure to this journey. If I could ask one more favor of you, it would be to take this failure to the grottoes below my home. I can't stand the sight of it. Farewell. Luck be with you. You'll need it. Okay, so now he wants me to take this to the grottoes below his home, eh? Alright, well... Oh, come on now. Jump. D no, down. There you go. And... Come on, drop it. There we go. Well, it was not for a lack of trying. Yeah, no kidding. Look at all that he has here. I'll leave the skill points, by the way, until we're done in the part. Alright, so now, does he have anything in here, or did I already get it? Because I saw there was a lock on the house. But no, it doesn't look like there's any uh, wealth there, any treasure in his house. Alright, so we'll head to this one next. There's my horse. You're not my horse. I could probably... T I don't know if you can steal a horse in this game. I know Assassin's Creed has always been a little iffy on, like, the horse theft thing. Um, not that people like it when you steal their horse. It's just what's considered stolen. Like, they don't... Like, they don't really give you a very good indication. Now, obviously, my horse in this is very easy to recognize. So, like, I don't really have to worry about... Uh, mistaking one for another but then when you played the older games like assassin's creed 2 and that where there was like three or four types of horses and there was no really like unique ones that you could get uh every once in a while you'd go to get on a horse and it'd be like hey you stole my horse and it's like i i honestly didn't know that i was stealing your horse i was just getting on a horse it looks exactly like mine you know what i've actually been kind of getting an urge to play lately is oblivion like i've been watching a skyrim let's play and that might make you think oh so you've been you know like well why then why don't you want to play skyrim and it's like i do but at the same time i also want to play oblivion because it's been so long since i've played it right now granted i don't know whether or not i would still be able to enjoy oblivion ah. um i imagine i would still be able to have some fun with it but it is a game that like i never did perfect on the 360 and uh, I'm honestly kind of tempted to uh, to bring my 360 up to like where I record and have it plugged in up here because like I don't use it like where it is right now is completely pointless like it doesn't get used there in the slightest because if I'm downstairs and playing a game I'm gonna be playing on my one because I have games that I need to beat on there. But if I brought it up, I could hook it up to my capture device and just play it through there. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Then I could get my good old horse armor DLC so, up and ready, on. right? Try it yourself. Hey, boy. Okay. Come. Okay, Stand here, here and look out over the fjords. Hold my hand. There you go. Oh, I've never been so high. I really oh, wish that there was like long ago when we were just 19 winters. Together we stacked stones into cairns. These? Yes. Think of this as a test of mind and wit. Stack the cairn stones high and wide into any shape you like. How oh, do I, I win? See. You win by playing. And a quiet mind is your reward. Let the air and nature's beauty soothe you. Go. Uh, um. Can there's one more right? Don't validate yet. It is sticking up, but it's not. I have one more rock. Aha.
And I think there's only three of those total. Because I'm pretty sure there's an achievement to uh, to build all of those is what the achievement is. And uh, I'm pretty sure that when after, like it, because it, you know, the Xbox does that thing where it's like, hey, here's an achievement that you're close to. And uh, that was one of them. And it was like 33% and we had only done the one. So I'm guessing that there's only three of those unless it's a weird achievement and maybe there's six of them. And you get an achievement for doing half and then for doing the rest. I don't know how I feel about achievements for doing half of something. I guess it's a good. I guess it's good because then it it does um, get people. Maybe it's like, oh well. I mean, if I'm halfway done, I may as well just you know get the other half, right? Because um, I imagine that a lot of people, if they you know maybe well maybe not a lot of people, but I imagine there's some people where if they didn't get that like halfway achievement, that they might not just bother to do the rest at all. Will you now? Or will I just go over here and get the key? That for some reason is just sitting on this grave. Hello ladies. Under the cover of night, I will enter the camp alone. We will not leave you, Edessa, no matter the danger, no matter the risks. We do this together or not at all. And may I ask what you guys are planning? Don't you know it's forbidden to consort like this under God's roof? Take what you want, heathen. Just leave us be. You must be the abbess here. Why do you hide in a musky old church? We are not hiding. We sought to flee the Shire in the midst of this ungodly war. But in our haste to leave, I lost my crozier, fell into the hands of some guards in a camp just below. And I am not leaving without it. Dangerous endeavor for three sisters of the cloth. What is your plan? You're going to bore them with Bible passages until they give it back? Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. <laughs> it just may work. Or better yet, I can get your crosier back. You would help us? Merchant soldiers make good practice. Now I'm invested in your plight. Lead the way. Okay, where are we going, girls? Oh. How long since you fled the ministry? Must be weeks now. We had no plan and no help. We just knew we had to get out of Leicester, whether it is Burgred on the throne or one of yours. Makes no difference. Their reign would be less than godly. No offense. None taken. Yeah, I mean, none taken. Uh, we don't believe in your gods, so I mean... Your version of ungodly means absolutely nothing to us. I mean, we have the fun gods, you know, with multiples all ruling different things There's and having different features, not just this one thing that has, you know, one of them has my crozier. You know, not just one god that's just insanely boring. It's like, ah, oh, he knows everything and does everything yes. and has a plan, but also gave you free will. You know, I'm not saying that, like, the Norse god gods don't have contradictions. I mean, every religion has contradictions. <gasps> Why are you all here? Let's go! Down to the river! Sure. I mean, guys, we're... we're... unlike any sisters I've seen. Bare-fisting armed men like that. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. We Christians take matters into our own hands well enough. I mean, I feel like that may have been interesting to yeah, see, like, yeah. all the little nuns Maybe fucking fighting the guys, way. but... Uh, I don't know whether or not they would be invulnerable to those, to them or not. I mean, I imagine the... what in charge would be. But I don't know if the other three would... Not today, devils. Not today. 
Oh yeah, look at this. No, you don't get to kill them. Now I've seen everything. I mean, did you though? Wow, we don't even get anything for those guys. For those wolves, I guess because they were quest wolves, they don't have anything on them. Maybe I just can't hold any more wolf gather stuff since I haven't sold any. Sisters, gather around. Let us pray to the Lord our God and thank him for watching over us. Yes, because it was clearly God who was watching over you, not the giant. The Lord sent me a shepherd to help lead my flock today. Thank you. You did not have to do what you did. There's truth to that. You would have done fine on your own. I will never look upon sisters of the cloth the same way after today. And I will never look upon heathens the same way. Farewell. Yes, because believe it or not, you do not have to follow your god in order to be a decent human being. What a shocker. Um, god damn it. I really hate that they do that. When you, uh... I'm just, oh, I'm just gonna fast travel. When, uh, you have a mystery selected and then it ends and it changes to the X, it, uh, it doesn't let you deselect it for some reason. It's a little annoying, but you just place some random markers. And unless you're somebody who has a bunch of markers on at once, and I don't know why you would ever do that, uh, it's really not a big deal. I mean, it's like a very minor annoyance. Uh, apparently, though, that um, the Yuletide event is fairly buggy. Um, not just for other people. I said apparently, but it is. Uh, I managed to break the archery game where, because like the very final round of it, all the targets turn around. And because of when it did that, it kind of broke the game because like as I shot the last one, it was at like one second. So they were turning around as the, uh, as the contest ended. So they flipped around and uh, were backward or, and were facing me when the next round started. So I had to shoot all of them in the when they flipped around so they weren't facing me. Um, and going to get the, uh, the alcohol for the guy, once you got it from the camp, it actually places your marker. Uh, I don't remember how I edited it, so I don't know if you saw it or not. But the camp, where are we? We're here. The camp is somewhere, I think it's this camp here. And uh, once you get the alcohol for him, He's over here somewhere, I want to say. He's, like, right here. But the marker for him is, like, over here somewhere. <laughs> it's, like, ridiculously far away. And uh, if you ignore the marker and carry it all the way back Go to the thing, the it doesn't... Uh, you. You uh, it doesn't you count. Like, you actually have to take fish. it to him. You win if you can down it faster than me. Yeah, I know how it works. Bring forth your coin. Let's sweeten the pot. All right. So we're going to go with a big bet because I haven't lost Bring one of these yet. Board, huh? And I have silver drink. to spare now. Uh, I'm going to try not to spend it. it. Really little cups. <laughs> I feel like these cups aren't this big. So uh, slow. This is actually really slow, like in comparison to like when I did like the drinking contest, like with the drinking horns, it was significantly faster. Although you do have to do it four times with this one. So maybe that's why. Staggering already? Yeah, he is. See now, it's <laughs> correcting for the stagger is actually a little rough because when they first start to stagger, they actually like lean the direction like opposite that you like the opposite direction that they actually start to fall. 
All right, so we did that. So let's go back to the order. Investigate the houses northwest of the water mill in, oh God, in west. Okay, so that we might actually be able to unlock this whole character. Let's see, I salute you out for drinking me. I know only this. The ads used to spend time at the water mill south of Tonastadir. Okay, so houses northwest of the water mill in the Quornic Hamlet. Okay, the Quornic and south of, okay, so Tonastadir was, oh, there's the Quornic Hamlet. Uh, how's this northwest of the water mill in the hamlet? Okay, there's Tenastadir, there's the hamlet. So over there is where we need to go. Now we got seven minutes left, so I'm actually going to fast travel over to here. We'll pick up the rest of the mysteries next time, and we might actually end up hunting that other guy next part two or maybe the part after that depending on how many mysteries we have left because i didn't realize because in the other two in like the last two games in origins and odyssey when you picked up a clue it just gave you a clue to who they were and then once you got all the clues <laughs> it uh it just unlocked the character it's like ah here's where they are right um or revealed them whereas in I didn't realize that in this one here that each clue actually led you to another clue for like something that you actually had to do. All right, uh, where's my marker? Over that way across the river. So I'll go for a little swim. Okay, so I need to find the water mill, right? And then go northwest from there. And investigate the houses. Now, actually, before I go over there, is there a, uh, no, there isn't. I was going to say, is there a mystery over there? Because that might have something to do with it. But I guess not, because otherwise you wouldn't need to do the other quest. Now, the thing that I'm curious about is, like, because technically in Odyssey, you didn't have to, like, because Odyssey had, like, the three different endings, right? They had the one for the main story with your family. Uh, they had the one that had to do with Atlantis, and then they had the uh, the ending that had to do with the uh, with the order. Whatever, what was the order in that one called anyway? I don't remember. Okay. So there's the water mill, and I need to go northwest of that. So we'll head over to there first. Okay. So here's the water mill. And then northwest of it would be either, well, I guess it could be this little shack here. Or it could be that building there. Because if that's the, oh, does he have a fucking wealth on him? Does he really? I mean, it's not marked on here, though. But he's definitely glowing. I'm, um... Oof, I mean, I kind of want to. Yeah. Oh, look at that, he did have a carbon ingot. Okay, so you can farm carbon ingots then. Alright. See, now I was curious about that. Because, like, the thing I read said that there was a limited amount of them, but he wasn't showing up on the map as, like, a wealth thing anymore. Because obviously I have all the wealth here, right? So he obviously wasn't one, but I was still able to get another ingot off of him. So that means that I can just upgrade all of my shit. I mean, like, it may be a little annoying to, uh... Um... Oh, that's locked. That's guarded. But yeah, like, it might be a little annoying to, like, hunt down those guys and, uh, and fight them for carbon ingots. But I mean, I'm willing to fucking do it. I have nothing better to do in between parts, right? So that's honestly really fucking interesting to me.
Okay, so I need to kill these guys. Uh, what's whistle? There it is. Yeah, what's all that about? Got you. Now, obviously, other people heard or saw me do that, but it wasn't a soldier. And I love how in this game, you know, the fact that it wasn't a soldier that saw me do it. Oh, get him in there quick. Hey, you, come here. Yeah, we are. And there we go. All right. So now, it should be in this house, in theory. Now, I do see a letter thing here. Oh, that was it. That's. She can be found on the docks of Repton. Okay. Palatinus Ganilla. Ganilla grew up as a daughter of... Or as a... Grew up a dutiful daughter. She worked helping the, to build ships with her uncles and, cousin, uncles and cousins. Good God. Waves of pestilence brought chaos and devastation to her family. And she yearned for a more orderly world. All right, so we know where she is now. She is in Repton, which is way the fucking gone up here. Uh, so we'll actually head up there, and she says she's on the dock, or it says she's on the docks. So I mean, we'll obviously go straight to the docks, which is nice that we can. Now the thing is, is she gonna actually be hostile towards me? Because I mean, Repton is the place where the Ragnar sons like fucking live, right? Like, that's basically their place. Um, so, I mean, obviously, like, none of the guards or anything. Also, we are over an hour. I did not realize that. So, we will quickly kill her and end the part. Ugh. And then next part, we'll do some more mysteries. And uh, in between parts, I'll level up and look at the clue that we have for the other guy. Because that'll probably... Because we should be able to hunt him either next part or the part after as well. Because I am rather curious now. Alright. So she is supposedly at the docks of Repton. Uh, I mean, I'm at the docks. I do not see her, but I guess at the docks could be Uh, let's see. Can I actually... Because I didn't act, pay that much attention to this. Can I... I can mark her. There we go. There we are. Oh, well, she's not at the docks at all. She's in the town. I mean, that does make more sense that she's not just always hanging out at the docks. But, I mean, come on now. Uh, she's probably at the docks for, like... She probably has, like, a path. Like, a routine that she follows. And most of it is probably at the docks. Although, oh no, I guess I could consider this docks as well. Hey, bitch. Oof, right through the neck. We must all turn to the Orthe. It keeps people well placed. It is not truth, but true power. You desecrate the very purpose of life. No, no, no. I place power on power. The great becomes greater. You will see. Great. Please. 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 Oh wow, I killed her so hard her body did a backflip. Alright, now did that... Okay, so now she's defeated, yes. Did that unlocked... Oh god, that actually unlocked quite a bit. Found one clue here. Dice players abound in the Vice's village. Eliminate any target from the same branch to find the next clue. Okay. Well, I mean, I feel like the fact that we can actually see this person... Oh, wow, we actually unlocked quite a few. Uh, so we have the oil. Festival near Henge Farm in the hills south of Stonehead. Okay, so we haven't been to Hamptonshire yet. The Anvil, Anvil uh, which is in Oxford... Uh, which we also haven't been to. And we have the Lath. Uh, defeat the Dice Champion at also in Oxford. Alright, so we haven't been to any of those places yet either. 
Uh, you can be found in the market. Oh, what? We can actually find. Okay, well, we'll start the part by killing this fucker because apparently we fucking know where he is. Good Christ. All right. Okay, and then we have these other guys who apparently we have a clue about, but just not like where they are. So yeah, that'll be it for this part. Uh, like I said, we'll start by killing that guy. Uh, I'm actually going to try and find this before I fast travel over there. Um, but yeah, I'll try and find this thing, and then we'll fast travel over, or, and then I'll fast travel over there, and we will start by hunting out that guy and killing him, because apparently we know exactly who he is. So thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you next time for more.